and some blessings to everyone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So this is a video I have been contemplating when and whatever to make it. I was like, well, it tonight, I mean, I go into everything. But I want to encourage all my fellow believers in Jesus Christ. So one, to stay strong and two, to be prepared for whatever persecution is ahead of us. Um, you know, before the global pandemic, there were a few things that I was aware of what God would have spoken to me about. And um, this is something I want to share. If you never saw the video, I will share a little snippet and then I'll continue talking after that. But the persecution is not just going to be um, specifically like physically, you know, some of us go to the streets. I have not been in the streets preaching for a while, to be honest, like ministering. But um, mainly I'm on the internet or sometimes in church and stuff. But it's also going to be the online, right? And some of us will have experienced it, even myself. So I'm going to share this video. You all can listen to it. And then I will continue speaking. After. I'm not going to go through the entire thing, just part of it. So let me share the video. Hello, greetings to all my fellow YouTubers and subscriber viewers. Okay, so this video is not a planned video, it's just it basically what based on what I saw this morning. So this morning, as usual, or most of the time, I post um in my YouTube community. However, when I went up this morning, I discovered that it was um disabled. This is basically what I saw. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Can't you see that thing, man? So much glare. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me see. Let me see that. Oh, you ever see that the thing see is it's disabled. Um, if you all could read there, it will say that your community is disabled or whatever. So I was unable to post. Okay. Somewhere here says, um, disabled. All right. I was unable to post as a result. So once you all see that I am not posting anything, I don't know how long this is going to be. I don't know what prompted. I really don't know. If it is because I'm sharing things about Jesus, because I've realized like lately, lately, sorry, that YouTube the owners they are putting new policies, like things they can't post if you're posting stuff else, if it's for children, it's not for children. And if your eyes are open and you're spiritually alert, we can see that we are living in a different era. Like things are just happening all across the globe. And you know, even the coronavirus, I'm like I'm like trying to meditate on this virus a little bit, finding, um, well, learning information about the virus. And last night I was thinking, this is like a death spell or some death angel or some kind of thing. And you know, I don't know if God was talking to me, all right? I'm not saying he was, but sometimes that's how God talked to me and it doesn't be sure. And then someone sent me a message about a prophecy or someone said it was a death, is a death angel, is a plague. And it's kind of thing, but we as believers, we ought not to fear because God is going to protect us as long as we're not playing with God. We're not like one foot in the world, one foot in, in God. The thing, you know, once we are striving to live according to the will of God, God is going to protect us. Um, another thing about this coronavirus is that it keep coming to me that it is, you know, when someone is going to perform anything, may it be a song in front of a audience or in a competition or whatever or a dance piece a, um a act they have to practice and it just keep coming to me that this corona that's going on here is like a rehearsal to what is really to come because this corona like no other disease is causing so many things to shut down like i mean i am okay so 
there in that video is basically speaking about a couple of things one being that youtube will have blocked me the same date i would have uploaded that video i think it was the 19th of march that was in the early part of the pandemic youtube will have blocked me from posting on my community and i don't know up to this day what was the reason but i realized that it had to be a persecution. Now, I would have expected Facebook because I've seen other ministers, a few of them who really, really hardcore, not no um, gummy bears, let's call them preachers who preaching a whole set of words for people with itching ears, but preachers who are very diverse or they preach sin and all the different aspects of the word, right? And one of the ministers, he has grown to this point where Facebook will block him for an entire month and he cannot post and he's one of the few. So I thought it would have come from Facebook, but I got it from YouTube. And when YouTube did that, my views, uh, my views was at some point climbing. It had times where it was fluctuating, but in my community, the amount of engagement that I used to get dropped drastically. So the next thing I'll be showing you all would be that. So I'm going to share um, my YouTube community. So if you look at the dates and these things, you realize that, okay, three years ago, that was like 2019, right before the pandemic. If you look at the likes, you can tell that there were way more likes and stuff. And it used to happen on a pretty regular basis. Some people would like or others may like them less, but people were actually engaging more with my stuff. It was the one that I just have it. Where did it go? Um, okay, this was one of them, right? So while I was spending time with God, this was one of the things that the Lord revealed to me in my spirit. Is that in 2020, the 20 is on top, but it's not showing. If I click on the photo, it will show, but then I may lose the photo because I mean I would it would uh, most likely refresh. So 2020 is the year of thunder, not literal meaning. It was not literally thunder. There is going to be a spiritual explosion. The enemy is, is trying to stop it, but the enemy would not succeed. So this is one of the things that the Lord revealed to me. This was from a WhatsApp status so I screenshot it and shared it on my different social media. And what that was really about is, um, I didn't know how it was going to happen. But when the pandemic occurred, a certain day when I was fasting, God brought back to my memory this. And it was like God was basically raising up people during that particular time. So even though there was a downside to the pandemic, Everyone was dying and all this type of thing. At the same time, God was raising up people for his kingdom. There's another one I'm going to try to get it if it's taking too long. Just pause. So if you look again, you see how like 40 something people like in that. Um, let me go down, 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 down. But sometimes I used to share the actual scripture. Sometimes I would share different messages from what I wrote on WhatsApp, which are these. Um, so let me get, okay, let me pause for a moment. Okay, so this was the other uh, photo I was looking for again, three years ago, so that would have been 2019. This one would have been around me. Another thing that the Lord has it into my spirit will allow me to know is that great things are happening by your Christ at that particular point. And um, while, let me go down a little bit, what's going on here? While there is a shift, the bottom piece would have been, there is an arising. So there was a shift, but a lot of this shift, I personally realize will have been taking place, will have taken place for 2020. But in 2021, as I said at the beginning of the video, I was talking about the pandemic. I God didn't tell me about the pandemic, but he told me these things. So I was more on the positive side of things, expecting the positive things until the virus hit. But in the midst of it, God was doing great things. Um, 
at the end of the day, there was also a shift in the era because what I said at the beginning of the video about how the pandemic, that video was in March of 2020, what one would have then keep bringing to my spirits about this thing being a rehearsal, like a trial before the real thing, because it's going to lead up to the mark of the beast, right? So there has been a rising in people, a shift in the in things of people coming to the kingdom. But there's also been a shift where some people have backslid on during the time of the pandemic. So a lot of things has have been happening then, right? And as I'm focusing here, it was mainly on persecution I was trying to focus on. But this, this photo didn't get a lot of engagement, but it still have more than I have now. And if you keep going down, or even let's say, when I started posting in my community, which would have been around 2018, I think. And um, so when YouTube would have banned me, that is when, the engagement, especially on my community, but also on my videos as well. Rapidly, right? Some videos I will get more, some videos I get less, but there was a fluctuation of engagement. Anyway, let me take this off. I don't think I want to share anything else here. All right. So I just want to encourage each and every one of us that, um, just stay strong, stay connected to God. And I have this mentality that, you know, when we go out into the streets and preach, right, regardless of if you do it both live and physical, as in your physical, some people there's um there's um streaming live, so it's like you're working two places at the same time, or you're just physical. Because I've been out on the streets myself a couple of times with my church and my mother and me. And um the thing is. When you're preaching on these streets, yes, some people may stop and listen. Some will not stop. Some may curse you. All kind of things does happen. At the end of the day, there's nothing like likes, like how we have it on these social media. So uh, my thing is that the Bible tells us that we need to rejoice in persecution. Now, it's harder said than done. And I believe that God allowed that to happen to me with YouTube to test me because there are different ways that God could try us. He tried you. He tried many of his servants, and it's usually to test our faith and another thing um, to, for us to see, basically for some cases with trials, is for us to see that God is able to do certain things as well. Um, so it's just uh, like me, my mindset is at this point, if the they shut down my channel. If they, it don't have to be this channel alone. It could be any social media because TikTok, real banning Christians. And I just have my eye open because they just give me some shadow bands. I was a shadow band technically. I understand to me. When you post sometimes, there are times TikTok don't push your video out, which is on their for you page. And I could tell because usually the video center, the ones that they shadow banning, hardly get views up front. They get usually like 10% or less than the other sides get up like hundreds, a few hundreds, or even close to a thousand, depending. Um, so that's why I tend to most of the time spread all the stuff that I um shared on my social media. Most of the time, not every single thing, but most of the time, because how certain things on TikTok, I don't have on other channels, so or how certain things on probably Facebook or Instagram that I don't have another chance. But a number of things I share across the board. So in case they were to delete one, or one get completely banned, I lost my stuff. I have it on some other channels. So you'll just be blessed. Take care. You know, we have to be prepared because we are living in this closer to the reason of Jesus Christ. And things are not going to get better as much as some of us will want to. But the heart of man it's getting increasingly wicked and the Bible says that because iniquity, because sin will abound, it will increase the love of many, will wax cold, right? So, and then persecution against the church because we are heading into the era of the beast, meaning Jesus will come and eventually at some point, um, the 666 
mark of the beast, they will take over and you have to either take the um the mark and you'll be able to buy yourself according to Revelation. Or if you don't take it, they'll try to kill you and this kind of thing. So it's important to be ready for the return of Christ and do what we have to do. God, take care and be blessed.